Virgo singles. This is for anyone Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Virgo. Personally, I like the moon signs the best. I think that they resonate the best in regards to um, love stuff and trying to draw it in. So if you don't know your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below that you could click in order to figure out what that is for free on the internet. So um, this is also if you're spying on a Virgo, like, oh, my ex is a Virgo. I just want to see what their love life is like because you're jealous or maybe you're interested in a Virgo. This is for you then too. <laughs> okay. So uh, how do you see yourself, Virgos, in the month of September in regards to love? So your generous and giving nature, whether that be of time, money, energy, that's good for you. Okay. That's not something you should stop, but it's not necessarily bringing in love for you is how you're feeling. So that might be something that you're considering. You're like, you know what? I give and I give and I try and I try and I never get back. That might be how you're feeling in the month of September. But how are others seeing you? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. An interesting thing to note, you know, like this is in a period of a Mercury retrograde. We still have that eclipse energy going on. Look, it doesn't that kind of look like an eclipse a little bit? See how there's like black covering the moon? Just saying. Um, okay, so how others are seeing you is like maybe not being the best communicator um, the way that you usually communicate with others, right? Like they might see you as closing down or not like um, speaking how you really feel or what you really think. And mostly because you're in this like strange period of healing um, or at least they perceive you to be. And, um, but that's okay. Like they're trying to give you your space, which maybe makes you feel like, Mm, people aren't into me. Like, I'm not getting love. No, it's just that they perceive that you need some space for your highest good, like, because you're, you're going through some stuff, right? So what should you be avoiding this month in regards to love so that you can start bringing that back into your life? And they say avoid um, neglecting to think about things or realizing things that are right in front of your face. Like, it might not be it might be obvious to you or it might not be, but that's the choice. Like there's some things that you're just like deciding not to think about or deal with. Um, and so when you're doing that, then you're accidentally manifesting the wrong things because you don't have a complete clear picture, right? So you're trying to be fair to yourself because you don't want to hurt, right? Like you're like, oh, I already hurt before. I'm in this process of healing, or at least that's what other people think, right? And it's like, no, you're... Basically, like, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to take your little blindfold off and see things as they are, be really clear and direct and honest with yourself so that you can manifest the best thing, okay? So what um, should you be doing in order to grow things, in order to attract things into your life, okay? And it says be patient. Things take longer than you might want them to be, but that's actually okay because in a period of Mercury retrograde, things that start then often don't end very well. And so at least until September 5th would not be a good time to start something new. Um, if you've already been talking to somebody, you know, since July, that's okay then. You can keep doing that, but to just like meet somebody and like go all in on it, not necessarily a good thing. Um, and then there's the shadow period afterwards, which lasts until like the middle of September. So just keep that in mind because by avoiding that, you're also avoiding a shit ton of drama is basically what that's saying where you kind of feel weak and crippled and hurt. So um, what else can you do to grow or increase the likelihood of love coming into your life? And they say um, by, by not giving love right now to the wrong people, you know, by being wise with your love, like mentally wise but intuitively wise too making prayers about it that would definitely help you um what is working for you this is an interesting spread here wow okay so what's working for you is this whole energy of the damsel in distress Okay, so even though you might be suffering a little bit, you might be feeling a little bit sad or maybe feeling nothing at all, some apathy or something, that's actually okay because somebody wants to rescue you. What I have for you here 
It's you might be a little bit depressed. You might be sad. You might be bummed. Things might not be working out the way that you want. You might feel like nothing is coming in for you. Nobody of any value to you or like aligned with the kind of person that you want is even making offers at you. They're not, nobody's even smiling at you. Nobody's flirting and winking. But the decision to be really clear about what you want is good. And even though you don't have that and you're feeling sad about it instead of focusing, you know, more on like, hey, I'm thankful I'm not with the wrong person. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I'm so sad. Um, but then like not dealing with that sadness by like resorting to party drugs or um, alcohol or, you know, going wild. That's good because now your soulmate can come in and like just sweep you off your feet. And then um, your bond will actually be strong, stronger because they call this trauma bonding, right? When you're like in this place of like despair and then it's like they saved you when really they didn't save you, you know, but, but that's how it's going to feel. So it'll be like more intense. Like you'll be more emotionally um, bonded and like you could talk about your feelings and it was a safe space and yay. Okay. So it feels sad, but it's really not sad. And it's okay if you feel the sadness and you live in it at least this month during the month of September, because it's the right time for somebody to swoop in and make you feel better. Okay. What do they call that? The Florence Nightingale syndrome or something like when patients fall in love with their nurses or something? Okay. So what is not working for you this month? Um, fretting too much over details. <laughs> um, and the fact that this period of time is going to come to a close. So if you continue to feel sad, um, like after somebody doesn't swoop you up, that won't work for you later. It only works in the month of September, all right? Because if you carry it too far, you're going to destroy your own confidence and then it'll like emotionally imbalance you. So just in the month of September, you can kind of like live in your pain and, you know, be like a little, um, like kind of just relish in your sadness. You know, it's a little bit, like it's like cathartic, but in October, November, December, not such a good idea. Um, but for this month only, you might end up then finding yourself not being single by the time we come to the end of the month. Um, you know, so it could be like maybe you meet somebody else who's going through kind of the same things. Um, you could even meet online, you know, like in some sort of discussion over, you know, heartbreak. And then, boom, you're ha talking to each other. You're helping each other. And you fall madly in love. Okay. So what's the overall outcome for the Virgos in the month of September? Whatever it is that you're wishing for, really. So make sure that you're having positive wishes and thoughts, making affirmations for those, but you can also feel your pain, okay? Um, kind of keeping your mouth shut, knowing when to do that, <laughs> that's key this month. Um, and then it's saying that lies and deception that have happened to you in the past that threatened like your sense of security and stability that make you a little bit cautious now do work in your favor um to make you find somebody who is very secure for you and like honest because by contrast you realize what you don't want you do realize then what you do want does that make sense so your overall lesson for the month of september here they are is the following expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So thinking about, like I said, you can think about what you don't want for a little bit, but don't wallow in it forever. Start making thoughts about the things you do want, and then boom, they come and pick you up when you're feeling down. So love and light, and I wish you the best. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.